little further. Not much further to go. Look, you, you go on ahead. Send somebody back for me. Send a wagon. I can't ride no more. I feel like I got a belly full of hauling oil. All right, Nick. Leave your canteen far away, man. What do you bet? Fair enough. What do you do if that ranger gets here before I get back? I don't want to kill him. I wouldn't want to see him be close enough to ask questions. He won't bet. You can count on that. around here now, son. Good afternoon. My name is Gilman. I'm Texas Ranger. Glad to know you, Mr. Gilman. My name's Kent. What can I do for you? You see a man right into town about half an hour ago? No, don't recollect. You sure? You see anybody, Johnny? No, Mr. Kent, I surely didn't. Well, I felt sure my man had tried for a change of horses here. Oh, one of us would have noticed that for sure. Yeah. Well, I'm much obliged. There's a dead man about 20 yards off the wagon road just over the hill if you want to bury him. One of your men? No. I'll take care of it, Mr. Gilman. That's all right, Mr. Kent. I'll take care of the body. Gilman, Texas Ranger. I'd like to have uh, a little information. I'll do my best, Ranger. Let me buy you a drink first. You just came out of a hot day. Well, that's for sure. I'll take a beer. Give the Ranger what he wants. Well, mister, we got a bar rule against wearing firearms. Finally figured out that nobody's going to get hurt if nobody wears a gun. I hope you don't mind. It's a fine rule. But like I say, I'm a Ranger. I understand what you said. No offense, mister. But maybe you are a Ranger, maybe you're not. So for the peace of my mind, why don't you just hand over your gun? Maybe the marshal could uh, persuade you to make an exception. Just a moment, Mr. Gilman. Mr. Gilman, I know you have no reason to see the marshal. He's a busy man. Now, I know you're not looking for any trouble, and I know I'm not looking for any trouble. So if you just hand over your gun, why, we'll have that drink. Well, you don't give a man too much choice. Yeah, that's better. Well, I think I'll have one with you. Well, Ranger, what is it you wanted to know? Well, I'm on a trail of a man who held up the Round Rock Bank four days ago. He killed my partner yesterday. And his trail leads directly into town. 
Now, is that right? Well, who do you think this killer might be? Well, one of the uh, tellers identified him as a Ben Fraser. Ben Fraser? Well, isn't that a coincidence, Ranger? I got a brother by the name of Ben Fraser. I'm sorry, Mr. Gilman, but my brother's busy right now. But you just stay in town till tonight, and I'm sure he'll find time to see you. Oh, Mr. Gilman. You forgot your drink. taken. Business looks kind of slow. Oh, didn't you know? There's a convention in town. No rooms. I understand. Hey, why don't you talk to Mr. Fraser about a reservation now? Uh, maybe he can help you out. You seem pretty tickled about all this. Well, the humor's there, Ranger. Well, why don't you explain it to me? Now, here you are, a Texas Ranger. Now, you come riding into town after your man. But you get here and something happens. You haven't been tracking him. He's been tracking you all the time. And now you're caught in the trap. How does it feel? I don't suppose you care to do anything about the situation. Do anything? Look, I can tell the good customer from the bad one. And for me, you're the bad customer. How would you like this customer to show you just how bad he can really get? Well, I think this customer will soon be dead. Ranger, aren't you being treated right? Because he's Ben Frazier. Tell him who you are. You'll get a room all right. Sure. Ben's got a soft spot for Rangers. He'll be glad to see you don't lose any sleep. I'll finish that beer now. There's nothing here for you, Ranger. I want to see Ben Fraser. What about? Well, I want a room and some sleep. Thanks to Fraser, I've been up most of the last three days. I'll go tell him, Ranger. Who's watching the Ranger? Frank it out. You walk in like you own the joint. I just own your brother. All right, honey. Why don't you go have a drink, Ranger? What are you packing for? What's he packing for? He's leaving you, honey. Cal. That's not right, is it? Look, honey, Ben and I have to take a little trip, that's all. We'll be back. You promised I could go. You gotta stay here and look after things till I get back. Somebody's gotta be here we can depend on. I think it's a meanness. Promise something, then snatch it away. Oh, Cal, I'm so sick of this puny little town. Please let me go. Just this once, honey. And why do you have to go so soon? Because we're gonna kill a ranger tonight. Unless we see some country for a while. You understand? I understand, but I don't like it. Rose, you're getting to be a nuisance. All right. What do you want me to tell the ranger? He wants to see you, Ben. He'll have his chance tonight. I 
don't know why you put up with it. I know you don't. Bottle and two glasses. I'm bringing you a drink, mister. You need it. Thank you. If I were you, I'd put as much of this bottle inside me as I could. What'd he say? He'll see you. Tonight. No place for me to sleep till then? Look, Ranger, you're supposed to start walking. Or stick around town and get killed tonight. Why the delay? It's a funny thing about people in a town like this. What they don't see doesn't happen. And as far as the good people around here are concerned, you rode in and you rode out. And no trouble to Ben Fraser. No trouble at all. They leave your body and your horse a long way from here. Nobody knows what happened. See, nobody around here likes for Ben to be in trouble. Without him, the town dries up? He's the big butter and egg man in this fair city. People feel that way about it. Why would it bother him to see me shot? It's like I told you. These are good people. Some of them might not stand to see a man killed in cold blood. But they're like good people anywhere who don't want any trouble. Give them a chance to look the other way and they'll take it. And I expect any help from you? Just talk, mister. Just talk. Well, maybe I'll just walk out. Go ahead. You got 40 miles of sand and no water, no matter what direction you take. And, of course, the boys will go after you. You won't be hard to find. Oh, don't disturb yourself on my account, Mr. Gilman. I was just leaving, Mr. Fraser. I hope you've been enjoying yourself. Not as much as I intended to. Honey, let's have a drink to Mr. Gilman's good intentions. Excuse me, uh, sorry, mister, the livery stable's closed. Ranger, here's to me, you're in serious trouble. I'm Enoch McCready, Colonel Enoch McCready, and this is my boy, Saul. You know, uh, I was with Stonewall Jackson at Manassas. I was beside him all through the Valley Campaign, and by the time he smashed Fremont, I was his right-hand man. <laughs> it's hard to believe now, but that's the way it was. Yes, sir. Why, things got so that Stonewall wouldn't do a thing except on my say-so. Well, I could sure use some help, Colonel. You can get a plow shopping or a horse shot. That's about all we got to offer. He's just afraid, Ranger. Regular scaredy cat. My own son, too. Buffaloed by these tin horn coffee coolers. Shut your mouth, Father. I won't do it. Well, the time was I wouldn't have wasted gunpowder on their kind. I need a horse and a gun. Don't you worry, boy. I'll get him for you. Or better than that, maybe I'll clean up this whole gang by myself. I can do it, too. Don't you think I can? You go take a nap somewhere. Say, long about sundown, you'll find I've done the job for you, Ranger. <laughs> a fine Ranger, you are no gun, no horse, nothing but a tin badge and a mouth full of cotton. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Well, you, you, you let go of me, you thick-headed ox. I'm going to tell Ben Fraser on you. I'm going to tell Ben. You just look and see if I don't. Sorry. He's an old man. Yeah, I understand. Fraser's have enough work to keep you busy? Usually. Kind of slow today, though. Figured I'd straighten up things a bit. Throw away a few things, like that old ladder. Not much good anymore. It's got a couple of broken rungs. Yeah, I noticed that. I shoe horses, mister. I don't sell them. Then once the horse is saddled and ready to go by sundown. Charlie? Thanks. Fast. 
like he's going to make us work at. Suits me. You tell Ben, I'll get the boys. Come on, Charlie. Visitors around somewhere. You seen anything? Nothing. Yeah? Well, going home. Yes, sir. Charlie, you see anything? No. Think he's around here? Well, Ben thinks he's gonna head for the stable, first of all. That back door bolted? Bolted and locked from the inside. The only way he can get in here is through this door. And I'm gonna stop that. Yeah, well, I'm gonna leave Johnny here in case you need some help. He'll be ready to move out the minute we get him. The horses are all saddled. Inside. Do as I tell you. You nervous, kid? Yeah. Yeah. I, I never kill anybody yet. That's not what you're nervous about. You worried this ranger might be killing you? What was that? Horses. Now keep your mouth shut and watch the door.
to fill in the bar. And start firing. Keep firing until it's empty. I don't care if you hit anything or not. Just keep firing. I won't do it. I won't do it. You do it or I'll break your little neck. Why'd you have to kill Cal? Didn't give me much choice. I loved him. I loved him so much. My life's finished without him. Why don't you finish the job? Why don't you shoot me too? What'll I do? Where'll I go? Probably to jail. I wouldn't worry about it. You get off easy. I'd even be a reward for him. Reward? That's right. I killed a wanted man. He's wanted in Oklahoma and New Mexico, as well as in Texas. There are a lot of rewards, and I'll get them, all of them. You might. I will. Don't think you can cheat me out of them. I'm going to get everything that's coming to me. Yeah, I imagine you will, Rose. Anyway, let's hope so. Your own animal don't like you. You want him one piece? Yeah, I'm all right, thanks. Can't figure that horse, though. Here's the reason. There's a burr under his saddle. All right, which one of you put it there? I did. Ed, you're a fool. A joke like that could kill a man. Ask your friend there how many men he's killed. Ask him how come he's got two good arms and I got this empty sleeve. Well, go on, ask him. Forget it, Ranger. No need to make a fuss. Joker Wells was wanted by the whole Confederate Army. He didn't even have a chance to put him on trial. Well, that was years ago, Henrietta. Look at the dates on these clippings. Well, I know, but look at the charges against them. Well, there they are. Go on, read them. Treason against the Confederacy. Desertion during wartime and cowardice in battle. He's been hiding out since the war ended. Mexico, probably, but... Now there's no Confederate government to prosecute, so here he is back home in Porter. Home? Well, the ranch he's living on was his family's. Now it's his. But he won't live there long. The town will see to that. Well, they can't run him off his own land. <laughs> well, they'll try mighty hard. Well, they'll try once, and that's all. Oh, Hobie. Don't protect him. The, the town won't stand for that. Well, we'll see. Joker Wells breeds nothing but trouble. He rode into town the day after you left for Austin, and every day things have been getting worse. There was a lot of help from Ed Crow. The whole town's on Ed's side. I know it. Gentlemen, look out there. Well, cut it down, Ralph, and burn it. Yes, sir. All right. Now what? I'm gonna go find Ned Crow. No. 
see it's he in trouble? Well, he's working on it. Is that Wells' man again? Mm-hmm. Why don't you just chase him out of town? And Dora, I've got to have a reason. Well, you're the law. That's reason enough. Well, there's no law against Joker Wells, no matter how your husband feels about him. Look, you can't blame Ed for the way he feels. You don't... You just can't. You tell me why. It's an old trouble. It happened a long time ago. During the war. That's right. They, uh... They were fighting against Sherman in Georgia. The big retreat, you know. Ed was wounded. His arm. Joker could have helped him, but he didn't. He didn't even try. He ran away. Ed was lying there with half an arm in his sleeve, screaming for help. Joker just dropped his gun and ran. You gotta get rid of him, Hobie. You've gotta get rid of Joker well before... Glad's been causing all the trouble, not Joker. Now you listen to me, Hobie. If anything happens to my husband, I swear to heaven that I'll... Oh, come on, Dora. Don't even say it. Here. See this? This apron? This the first apron I ever owned. Ed gave it to me. You see, before that, I didn't wear an apron. I wore tights and uh, spanged on red stockings. I know. My home was a filthy room upstairs over a saloon. If anything ever happened to Ed, well, I'd have to go back to all that. I won't do it, Hobie. I'd rather hang from murder than ever live like that again. And I'm not going to let you or Joker Wells or anybody else ever take my husband away from me. for a night, Ed. My bottle, Hobie. My money bought it. Tanner, I'll keep it for you. Hey, Tanner. This traitor-loving ranger is ruining your business. You had enough, Ed. Go on home and tell Dora you love her. I'm gonna stay here till I get another drink. Sorry, Ed. When you drink, it turns to trouble. I'm staying here until I... I'd like a bottle of whiskey, please. I'll leave him be, Tanner. He's bad for business. His money's good. Oh, his money's good. That a lousy sellout soldier drink all he wants, but me, I can't keep my own bottle. You're going home, Ed, right now. You mind? Up to you. Yeah, you made uh, quite a mistake coming back to Porter. I'm an old hand at making mistakes. A lot smarter and a lot healthier living somewhere else. I've lived somewhere else. I've lived everywhere else. Same thing everywhere I go. You don't change nothing by changing places. I might just as well stay here where I belong. Well, you know how the town feels about you. You're not going to have a moment's peace. I was kind of hoping on a little help from you. Well, it's not that simple. Well, I'm not asking for trouble or favors, Ranger. I made some big mistakes a long time ago, and I've been running from them ever since. Just that I'm fresh out of places to run, too. Now, maybe, maybe if I stay put for a while, I'll be able to change their minds about me. 
And if you can't change their minds? I don't know. But I can't run forever. You're getting soft, Hobie. Another lawman would have run him out of town, no questions asked. against a dead man's. I tell you, he drew on me first. I swear it. Well, it's no position to argue with you. I saw it, Hobie. I just closed up for the night. I saw Ed. I saw Joker. Tell him, Mr. Porter, now tell him the truth. Ed was the first to draw. All right, Joker. When you're ready to leave town, you can have this back. Oh, I ain't leaving town. You stay here and this is gonna happen again. Just as sure as you're standing there, I don't want any more bodies in the street. Where can I go? There ain't no place else. Well, that's up to you. I would have done. No, Joker's still alive. Ed didn't cut him down. Well, Ed, uh... Ed... Uh, drew first, but, uh... Well, Joker's a better shot, that's all.
preparado. I was expecting a lynching party. Not in this town. Joker, you're leaving. I'll get you a drink. That's funerals tomorrow morning. By the time it's over, I expect you to be long gone from here. You don't understand. And for the first time in my life, I'm trying to face up to trouble. You picked the wrong time to be a hero. Well, now, listen. All I need is a little time. I want to show these people that I'm not so... You're not going to show these people anything. You saw them out there. The minute you show your face, they're going to rub it in the dirt. Maybe I better start wearing my gun again. You'll get your gun back when you're on your way out, not before. You know what? I got others, two or three of them. I wouldn't put them on. The town was just waiting for it. Now, why? Why can't they forgive a man for one mistake? This is why. War hero. You Not a tear, nothing. As though she were carved out of ice. I drive you home, Miss Crow? Uh, uh, anything I can do, you just let me know. Thanks, Ralph. I can do what has to be done. Uh, I'm sorry, huh? Save the fancy speeches, Hobie. Uh, you've had your share of grief, Dora. Why go looking for more? Ed's gone. Joker's still alive. I get out of my way. You keep this up and I'll throw you in jail right now. There's something I haven't done yet. It won't work. I'll make it work. A chance. Your little laws are on my side. Till I decide to break them. And after that, it won't make a bit of difference. Maybe she'll be lucky. Maybe someone will get to Joker before she does.
Hobby. Toss that gun away. And just plain foolishness, Dora. The gun. Joker's got guns in there, too. He can shoot a lot faster and a lot straighter than you can. I know. He practiced on my husband. Ed forced him into that. I'm forcing him into this. I'm not leaving here, Hobie, till I see Joker Wells dead. He's already made more grief for himself than a man can handle. Isn't that enough punishment? No. He's still alive. Well, in his case, that's the roughest possible sentence. for the heart, but he missed it. That's not an easy target to miss, is it? Well, when you've been beaten to a pulp, you can miss anything. Does that mean he's not going to die? He'll live. do the job. It's been a lot easier all the way around. Well, not for her. I did get a chance to unpack these saddlebags. What's this? A uh, deed to my ranch. I signed it over to Dora Crow. husband back. It's about the only thing I got to give anybody. Uh, tell her. Tell her to take good care of the place. Joker, where are you going? Some place where there's lots of people. People mean trouble to you. Well, it's better than being alone. See, I don't like what I stand for any more than anybody else.
Stay right where you are. Don't turn around. Been waiting a long time out there waiting for you to unstrap that artillery. You know, I was beginning to think you were going to sleep with it on. I'm starting tomorrow night. <laughs> Don't try it, friend. I did once. Turned over my sleep and almost shot my leg off. If it's conversation you want, you must try to talk better standing on my feet. Well, that's very nice. The fact is, you know, I got pretty lonely sitting out there waiting all that time alone. All right, you can stand up now. And don't turn around. I gave you the word I was coming. Carry a pigeon. I always did wonder why I've never liked birds. A man's best friend, sweet dreams, friend. <laughs> Bobby Gilman, on a special assignment to take a murderer into custody, regained consciousness to find himself in a territory strange to him, a long way from his base headquarters at Porter and 10 miles from Jacksboro, his destination, with no badge, no identification, no gun, no horse, and no money. Another trough out back. Ain't quite as public as this one for bathing. <laughs> Thanks. Somebody see your horse? No, he got tired. I thought I'd uh, bring the saddle in for him. He'd be along after a while. I've had the same thing happen to me. You mind if I leave my saddle and bedroll here? Sure. Not many places, sir. Uh... Thank you. I said my horse would be along later. He beat me here. Maybe you know a shortcut. Who brought him in? I don't know. I came in this morning. He was there in that stall. You always do business like that? Saves hard on help. If whoever brought him in wants him back, he'll come for him. If not, I'll sell him for the board bill. Well, he's my horse. Well, I heard you say so, mister. But that don't make it so. Maybe you ought to have a little talk with the gent that brought him in. I'll look forward to it. Mister? You look old enough to have 
taking part in what I prefer to call our recent difference of opinion. What side were you on? What side were you on? On both of them, huh? Depends on where I happen to be located at the time. Well, which is it while you're here? I thought you'd be able to figure that out by my Yankee accent. I noticed it when I came in. I'll be back for my saddle. Which way is the sheriff's office? Did you pass it on the way into town? No. But his street only runs two ways. What your game is, mister, but your story don't hold water. You come in here big, talking about being a Texas Ranger, name of Hobie Gilman. Sent here to take custody of a prisoner. You got no star, you got no papers, you haven't even got a gun. And what's more, you want to borrow money. I told you what happened. And I told you. A ranger came in this morning and took Mel Cody. His name was Hobie Gilman, and he had a badge and identification to back it up. My advice to you is, get out of town, or I'll have to lock you up. Sure, Sheriff, sure. whatever you say. I, I didn't mean to cause any trouble. There's only one thing I can't figure out. Whoever waylaid me was camping on the trail, waiting for me. And you're the only one in town who knew I was coming. walked in. Is there going to be trouble? I don't know. But I've never known a ranger yet to knuckle down. You're a fool, Wes. I've got to give Mal time to get out of the state, and this is the only way I can do it. Why should you get into trouble helping him? I don't want to see him hang for a killing he didn't do. The jury says he did. Well, he said he didn't. That's good enough for me. And what are you drinking, mister? My credit any good? How do I know? Never laid eyes on you before. Well, then I guess I don't want to drink. Then stand away from the bar. Leave room for the paying customers. Oh, Cody. You got me at a disadvantage, friend. You know my name, but I don't know yours. Well, I haven't had my picture out recently or killed anybody. Well, neither have I. I've seen some wanted posters that say you were wrong. You know, people have been making that mistake as long as I can remember. You're talking about my twin brother, Mal. I'm Wes Cody. You prove that? If I have to. Who are you? Hobie Gilman, Texas Rangers. Can you prove that? Not right now. Then don't bother me. Supposing you had a brother. Where's he now? Oh, Texas Ranger got him out of jail this morning. He had the papers and the badge to prove it. Yeah, I know. They belong to me. Did you loan them out? In a manner of speaking, yeah. Oh, you shouldn't do that. Have a drink? Well, I loan out all my money, too. Same person. I'll buy. Dutch, another glass, please. Well, you'd save yourself an awful lot of trouble if you'd come along with me. You could save yourself a lot of trouble if you got out of town. This is the second time I've told you. I don't want to see you anymore. 
You know, I'm beginning to get exactly the same feeling about you. Thanks for the drink. You have any trouble, Wes? No. I guarantee you still won't be in town by morning. Let him stay. You don't know what you're doing, Wes. It'll give my brother a two-day start, and there's not a lawman in the world to be able to catch him. to steal my own horse? I don't know that it's your horse yet. But go ahead and take him if you want. He don't belong to me. Well, I'll settle for the saddle and the blankets. Where do you aim to spread them? Well, there's quite a bit of country hereabouts. Mm -hmm. There's quite a bit of hay in this stable, too. You're welcome to it. Why didn't you want me to light the light? Oh, there's some people in this town might be tempted to uh, snap a cap at you. And they had real good shots. Well, I appreciate it, but I don't quite figure where you cut in. Well, I, uh, I never like to see an innocent bystander get killed. And I'm the only innocent bystander around right now. You want to loan me a gun? Nope. Wrong person might get shot. Not me. No, not you. Wes Cody. You mean he was telling me the truth about being an identical twin? Mm-hmm. I've known them both for... Oh, six, eight years. Wes never done no wrong. As far as I know, Mallory's brother never done no right. He's a killer. Only Wes never believed it of him. That's the only reason for the trouble. Who laid me? Took my badge and my papers. You mean somebody held you up? Yeah, that's what I mean. My, my. But now I can't think of who'd do a thing like that. I guess I'd better move along. I reckon you'll make out all right. What about the sheriff? Mal shot a man right after they held up a bank. I've always thought the sheriff could be bought. Might be, uh, we'd all be better off without him. Oh, I almost forgot. Anytime I ever went for a walk, I always wound up hungry. Could be it's the same with you. Why shouldn't it be? What about the ranger? Oh, I bought him a drink. Thought he deserved it after that long walk into town. Speaking of a drink, I could use one myself. Sure, honey. Wes, just tell me one thing. What makes you so sure that Mal didn't shoot Chris Harden in the back? He was a friend of his. Yes, but he's, he's also a thief, a, a double-crosser, and a murderer. I never saw him kill anybody. Yes, but you never saw your brother kill anybody either. I must have had you figured wrong. I never thought you'd turn against me. You think I've turned against you, Wes? <laughs> of course you do. That's because you're such a fool. Why, you don't even know what your own brother is like. Who are you to tell me about my brother? I've lived with him all my life. I look like him. Well, maybe that's your tough luck. I never told you, Wes. But I knew Mal quite a while before I ever met you. Yes. And I used to like him. Until I found out what he is. I'm get out. Is that all I'm gonna say? You're lying. I only hope you live long enough to find out I'm not. idea you'd be here. Surprised to see me? It told me if I broke you out of jail, you'd leave the country. 
Yeah, but I didn't say when. Sheriff tells me that Ranger's still in town. So harm in that. He's got no business here at all. If you could steal his gun and his badge, there's no reason for him to be here. I didn't set out to kill him, Mal. All I did was guarantee to get you out of jail, give you enough time to leave the territory. And you didn't waste any time taking up with my girl while I was in jail. I'm not your girl, Mal. You thought I was, and so did I for a while. But not very long. Well, I figure you might be again. After I've been around a while. You can't stay around here, Mal. That ranger's bound to get you. He didn't cause you any trouble. Why should he? I'm, I'm not who he wants. How would he know the difference? He came up to you once, he might come up to me. Sheriff says he hasn't even got a gun. Julie, you go into the next room while Wes and I change clothes. There's not room for the two of us in Texas. So start shucking off your clothes. You're leaving here, and you've got a price in your head. Remember that. And I'm giving you a real long start, so just keep riding. I told you to go in the other room while we change clothes. Julie, you don't have to leave. Do what he says, Wes, or he'll shoot the both of us. He wouldn't go that far. Why don't you ask him again who shot Chris Harden in the back? I killed him. Now start taking off your clothes. You got the wrong man. All right, no scar. Well, I, I slugged you from behind and took your gun, so that about makes us even, Ranger. Not quite. I'm still short of badge, some papers, and some money. We're still even. I'm gonna take you in. Yeah, but I want you to do me a favor first. What's that? Go get my brother, Mal. Is there something you'd like to tell me? Yeah. You, if you want to listen. I'll listen. You know I took your badge to break my brother out of jail. I kind of guessed that. Well, I'm, I'm not trying to make an excuse, but I was certain he was innocent. I just wanted to give him enough time to get away. What changed your mind? Found out he did the killing. How? He told me. He never left town. He never planned to. He's going to make me leave town. Take my place here. He's got my clothes. You'd never know the difference. Why didn't you go? I stayed to save your hide. It's funny, isn't it? He knows you braced me today in the bar. Next time you try it, he's gonna kill you. He doesn't think you've got a gun. Where is he? In the saloon. Oh, you, you don't have to worry about me. I'll be here when you come back. I'm not worried about you. I may have to kill him, Wes. If a dog goes mad, you've got to kill him. It's the only way it can be done. I just can't do it. So it's up to you. thinking the same thing about you. Well, I couldn't sleep. I thought maybe the night air would do me good. I know something might do you better. 
Unless you want a real long sleep. My, my, things certainly have changed since I saw you last. Well, you can't expect them to stay the same forever. I have a gun. Wes stopped and say good night. I know. I wondered how I knew where I was sleeping. Thanks. If you don't mind, I'll, um, I'll walk a piece with you. You don't have to. Well, I know, but I was just thinking a couple of drinks might help me sleep. I don't like it, Mal, the way you turn Wes loose. He might not take too well to be in double cross. He won't do a thing as long as I've got Julie. The ranger just came in. How about a drink, don't you? Your credit ain't improved a bit since earlier this evening. Well, my cash rating has. Well. Oh, Sheriff. Dutch set up a drink with the sheriff on me. Where'd you get the money? Stolen. Stranger, I don't think you're a bit smart. Neither are you. Let's go, Mal. That's the second time you call me Mal today. The name is West Cody, remember? I got a rule never to make the same mistake twice. Sometimes you only get one. I'm gonna take you in, Mal. It doesn't much matter to me which way I do it. escape. On what authority? The state of Texas. I got the papers too if you want to see them. If any of you people know where he lived, you might take him home. I think his brother would appreciate it. Strings always out. Well, there's a chance you might be getting down south. Uh, I'm working out a porter. Either way, it'll be a real pleasure seeing you again. Well, thanks, Frank. Well, I'm ready. Ready for what? Well, I have to go with you, don't I? Well, you're the only one who ever said you slugged me, Wes. A friend here says you're known as one of the biggest liars in North Texas. The sheriff says you're not, but I think under the circumstances, I'll take Penn's word for it. 